Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to install Keras and TensorFlow in Google Colab. Also, how to implement a handwritten digit classification using Keras and TensorFlow. First, we will understand how to install Keras in Google Colab. If you want to install Keras in Google Colab, we need to use this particular command that is uh, exclamation mark pip install minus q Keras. Once you run this particular uh, command, you will be able to install uh, Keras in Google Colab successfully. Once you install this particular Keras in Google Colab, the next step is to implement handwritten digit classification. Handwritten digit classification is nothing but uh, we have uh, handwritten digits with uh, the labels. We need to implement this particular uh, uh, program in such a way that whenever we give this particular handwritten digit, it should uh, classify that particular thing into one among the 0 to 9 uh, uh, digits over here. Uh, for this particular purpose, I am going to use uh, MNIST image dataset. It contains uh, handwritten digits over here. Now, uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to give data and labels that is the handwritten digits as well as the labels as an input to our uh, network. The network will take this as an input and then it will classify those particular handwritten digits into one of those particular classes that is in the range of 0 to 9 here. Now, uh, if you want to load this particular data set, uh, I am going to use this particular uh, import statement. That is, uh, we need to import data set from Keras here. And then we need to load this particular MNIST data set. How can you do that particular thing? I have already imported this particular data set. Data sets dot MNIST dot load data. It will load that particular MNIST data set into these particular variables. It contains uh, train images as well as test images along with the train labels and the test labels over here. Once you load this particular data into this particular variable, we will try to see the shape of this particular data. The train images dot shape will return you 60,000, 28, 28. The meaning is there are 60,000 images are there with the 28 by 28 uh, dimension. The test images dot shape will return you 10,000, 28, 28. That means uh, there are 10,000 images with uh, 28 by 28 dimension in this case. Now, once you read this particular data successfully, next we need to import Keras from TensorFlow. That is nothing but uh, from TensorFlow, we need to import Keras here. Once you import this particular Keras, uh, next we need to set up the neural network. Neural network contains uh, multiple number of uh, layers. Uh, minimum there should be one uh, layer and there can be any number of uh, layers in that particular neural network. Uh, in this particular case, I am going to consider uh, two layers. The first layer will consist of uh, 512 computational units with the activation function as uh, ReLU. The second uh, and the final layer, because there are only two layers are there, the second and final layer consist of uh, 10 units because we have uh, 10 different classes in the range of 0 to 10. So, we need to consider 10 units here. The activation function is softmax. Uh, the softmax will produce the probability. Based on that particular probability, we will uh, arrange or can say that it will give you the score in uh, for all those particular nine possibilities. The one which is having maximum, that will be the digit in that particular case. Now, how to uh, build this particular network is uh, we need to import models from Keras. That's the first thing we need to do. And one more thing is we need to import layers from Keras here. These are the two things we need to do. And then uh, what we need to do here is we need to create a model here. That is, uh, I, I have created a sequential model that is models.sequential that is stored into a variable called as network. So network is a sequential model in this case. Now, once you create this particular model, we need to add the layers here. Network.add layers.dense. This is a dense layer. Uh, the layer, layer consists of uh, 512, act, uh, you can say that the units or the computation units. Activation uh, uh, unit in this case is uh, ReLU. Uh, input shape is in the if you look at that particular input shape, we have uh, 28 comma 28 dimension. So we need to write 28 multiplied by 28. That is the input shape here. The name of this particular layer is uh, layer one in this case. Again, I have added one more uh, layer in this particular case. This is a dense layer with the uh, 10 uh, units in this particular case. As said earlier. Uh, we have 10 different classes. That's the reason I have taken 10 units in this particular case. Activation function is uh, softmax in this case. And the name of this particular layer is layer 2 over here. Now, once you create this particular model with the uh, two layers, next what we need to do is we need to uh, 
prepare this particular neural network for uh, uh, the metrics like what kind of uh, metric we want to use for evaluating it what kind of metric we want to use it for identifying the loss and all so for that reason uh, we need to use something called as a network dot compile in this case i have used optimizer as rms prop loss as categorical cross entropy metrics as accuracy if you want something else you can use those particular thing this is a basic program so that's the reason i'm using this particular standard uh, you can say that the uh, hyper parameters for neural network in this particular case now once you prepare this particular network the next step is to prepare the data uh, prepare the data in the sense uh, the data consists of uh, uh, values in the range of uh, 0 to 255 we need to convert those particular thing in the range of 0 to 1 over here so first what we do is uh, we will reshape that particular train images uh, uh, like this that is 60,000 images are there 28 comma 28 is converted into 28 by 28 here because we have created a network with 28 cross 28 as the uh, shape so that's the reason we need to reshape it that I have stored it into train images here again this particular train images are converted in in the range of uh, 0 to 2, uh, 1 here because the values are in the range of 0 to 255 uh, what we need to do is uh, wherever there is a value uh, whatever it may be like 0 it will be divided by 255 and the last one is divided by 255 so what will happen in this particular case is the data will be converted in the range of 0 to 1 in this particular case so that is what we have done in this case after that we need to uh, convert those particular labels into categorical values uh, that is the one more thing we need to do now once you do that particular thing the training uh, images and the labels are ready the same approach we need to follow for the testing images and the labels also once this is done we need to train the model test the model as well as we need to evaluate here so first we need to fit this particular neural network the network dot fit we need to pass the training images training labels we can set the number of epochs here in this case i have set uh, epochs is equal to 5 and the batch size is equal to 128 in this particular case now once you fit this particular neural network the next thing is to evaluate your neural network because the training is over next we need to evaluate our neural network for the testing data that can be done with the help of network dot evaluate here that's the evaluate function we are using here we are passing uh, test images and the test labels here so whatever the network we have trained that is uh, tested with the help of test images and the test labels the test loss and the test accuracy is written over here and finally i have printed that particular test accuracy over here you can see the training is happening in this particular case uh, the epoch 1 epoch 2 3 4 5 in every step you can see here the loss is uh, 0.2666 accuracy is uh, 0.9237 the loss is getting decreased and the accuracy is getting increased after every epoch here and uh, at the last you can see the accuracy of this particular model whatever we have built is uh, 0.9785 that is nothing but 97.85 percent accuracy here and that is how the neural network whatever we have built it is working in this case in this video i have discussed how can we install keras and tensorflow in google collab as well as how can we implement handwritten digit classification using keras and tensorflow i hope the concept is clear if you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates.